Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show how to install uh, the piston rings on pistons. As you can see, I'm using the uh, new pistons, uh, but it is uh, common to use a new piston rings on used pistons as well as long as pistons are in good shape and have a good diameter. Here you can see the harder the piston ring which is supposed to go on uh, top or sorry uh, no th th those were uh, the, the small ones here is a, a big one and the general rule is that the piston ring this uh, this the thick the thickest one has to go on top uh, in the top groove and usually there is some uh, marking like dot or some sign or some word uh, on this ring and this this sign word or dot has to face uh, top okay that's very important the 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 lower ring here because here we have a let's say uh, two rows the lower row is uh, supposed to have a ring which is combined uh, of three pieces two uh, uh, thin, ri uh, thin rings and one spring which should go uh, between them those uh, three pieces of ring is uh, it's very flexible and it is hard to you know put it in a wrong way uh, generally rule is that uh, that uh, grooves on the uh, on the rings cannot uh, align with each other so each ring has to be move a little bit uh, a little bit uh, further away from another groove this is because uh, in this way uh, the oil flow will be much harder uh, to pass from the bottom of of engine to the uh, head part actually it's a, a chamber part okay so here we can see that I'm trying to align those smaller rings okay it is hard to put it on video but generally this is pretty easy we just start with the the first ring then put uh, the, the spring and then the uh, second ring then you need to rotate uh, okay now you can see that I'm using again some sharp object like screwdriver so you need to be aware that I'm I know what I'm doing and and I'm very careful with those moves I suggest if you are not an experienced guy to use some you know some plastic maybe tool or something or or just use your fingers okay Generally, the rule is to to rotate those rings so they are not near uh, the grooves are not uh, near each other. Okay, now the the second second. Uh, ring and as you can see on uh, our uh, on our piston there are some dots uh, near uh, ring area groove so it is uh, it is better to move those grooves somewhere uh, away from those dots 
I don't know the, the particular reason for that, but I read it somewhere that it is, it's better to not have the grooves near those dots. Okay, I don't I don't remember why, but I had some problems with fitting those rings inside. I don't remember I had such a problems before and on different engines. I don't know why. Maybe because the, the piston is new, and there is uh, you know this the clearance in the roof is very tight. Okay. Now it's uh, the time to focus uh, the harder uh, and thicker top ring, which is called compression ring. And uh, this one is a tricky because using this tool, I was able to fit uh, easily a ring for 550 uh, for 550 pistons, but for 450 it is just tricky or even impossible to use this piston but fortunately this piston ring is uh, flexible enough to just spread it by fingers and put it onto onto on into onto uh, piston which on 550 is not that easy uh, i maybe it is easy but generally i was using this tool so it was easier for me to use this tool. Here you can see that it is just, uh, it is just, you know. Not that easy as it looked like. I think it's, uh, even the, the tool is uh, able to manage 75 millimeters piston rings I think the AD is a bare minimum to use it to this tool so generally I just drop this <laughs> this tool and use my fingers to um, to spread the the important stuff is to <clears throat> sorry that you cannot see uh, the piston right now. You can see my head, sorry. Okay. The <clears throat> important thing is that we cannot uh, move this ring uh, in vertical uh, positions. We can only spread it only in the same layer. If we do flex this ring, it will not sit correctly. It has to be on a flat surface all the time. Okay, and again, after rings are set, we need to make sure all grooves are not in the same line. Okay. First one is done, time for second one. I always like to inspect pistons for any defect, like maybe there is you know some someone uh, dropped uh, someone dropped or uh, the piston or you know, just use some sharp object. Okay, here I can see some uh, some something sharp, so I'm just using the gentle uh, gentle sandpaper to smooth an area to not you know. Uh, destroy a cylinder or something but again you need to be very gentle with it we don't want to make it oval
Okay, now it's time to it is time to mount pistons on con rods. What I was looking at, I was looking at cases because uh, we need to understand how to mount uh, pistons in which uh, position. As you know, the the pistons surface pistons location on on in cases is uh, they are moved a little bit. The one is on the left side and the second one is on the right side. So we need to. Have um, have uh, rods in a proper position, then install uh, pistons on them. As you can see, I have a uh, DD uh, type pistons, which are dual uh, dual ladder aluminium. Uh, but this is a newer version with uh, wire uh, lock instead of uh, tiger ring, tiger ring. So the way I'm doing uh, this is to lock the first side, uh, then install piston with uh, pin uh, in uh, in rod, and then lock the other side with uh, wrist pin with sorry with uh, wire lock. Okay. Don't forget to lubricate uh, this spashing in in the rod and uh, wrist pin in itself. Okay. And arrows are. Uh, exhaust port location so we need to install pistons facing uh, facing uh, exhaust ports in heads And once um, once piston is on, in in place, wrist pin is in place. We need to lock the other side with wire. It is tricky because you know this uh, this um, crank is not very very comfortable to work on, but it is it is it is something to be done after a few tries. As you can see, I'm using the second side of a small screwdriver with plastic end. It just, it's just better to use something plastic instead of your fingers because this is hard and sharp object. You can just easily cut your fingers. Okay, so first one is installed. Okay, 
am always taking my time to figure out in which position has it has to be done so, so to avoid uh, problems and disassemble stuff with no particular reason So again, the arrow needs to, don't forget to lubricate wrist pin and, and bushings on, on the rod. And <clears throat> arrow on, on piston have to face forward, exhaust port. Okay, thanks for watching.